The pavilion at Lye Cricket Club in Stourbridge was badly damaged by fire on Saturday. It's just three years since it reopened after a previous fire. Members there think the fire was started on purpose, but they say they rebuilt the pavilion once and they'll do so again. Callum Watkinson reports. Members at Lye Cricket Club in Stourbridge should have been celebrating the ashes this week. Instead, they're cleaning ashes up. Fire all but destroyed their pavilion on Saturday night. The club lounge is gutted. These two lifelong members not feeling much different. It's really sad. What can you say? I'm speechless in a way. Look. You're devastated, aren't you? I mean, I was having a, a drink with the lads here Saturday night. I left at nine o'clock. We just won the match. As loss adjusters move in, there are dark mutterings of a curse at the crease. This is the fifth fire in the club's long history. Six years ago, the destruction was total. The last time was in 2007. Um, that time we had still had a wooden pavilion, so that, that went up uh, in, in, in total ashes then, burnt to the ground. This time, um, fortunately, um, you know, another Bobby called in the fire brigade around about the early hours of last Sunday morning and the fire brigade came and were able to limit the damage, but it still feels a bit like a curse on the club. I feel absolutely gutted, to be honest, but, but what can we do? Like, we've, got to, we've got to rebuild and start again. If I couldn't come here, I don't know where I should, I should go and watch cricket somewhere, one of the other local clubs. That's the only answer. If this never got off the ground again. But it will, I can assure you. Lai are top of their division in the Worcestershire League and are well on course for promotion. They say the fire won't stop them. The Black Country Beer Festival will still go ahead here in November and double as a launch event for a relief fund to pay for repairs. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, Stourbridge.